Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some RuneScape, shall we? Alex, Nickman. Good evening, good to see you. Well, we have another Meyer Key quest in store for us tonight, I believe. I think we can probably jump into River of Blood to just kind of wrap this up. Um... So, this does say combat level 100 plus, very suggested, and it's long to very long. So, um, my combat level is right there. So, I have the requirement, but I'm not, like, way over it. 78 ranged is what I need. Um, yeah, I have 75. Oh, you're right, I can't do it. I forgot about that. Well, we could level that up. I Heathrun, good evening. I forgot about the range requirement. We might have to switch to a different quest then. I forgot about that. Um, well, we, you're right. I do have a little bit in my man here, so I can use this. So as I do this, I'll talk about it. Um, you know. What is my feeling about the... Um, Hey, Sir Theodore, good evening, my friend. I don't know if I'll actually be able to do it because um, my range isn't high enough. It's getting there, but it's not quite there. Mather, good evening. Check my penguin points. Boy, that's a good question. I don't even know if I have any penguin points. Um... Oh, okay. So... Yeah, there's a lot going on. So you're saying that there's a bunch of mini fetch quests that I need to do before I do River of Blood? Well, you guys tell me. Um, I don't know anything about it. It's part of the lore? Okay, well, I'm down with it. We could set up for it. Alright, so first of all, let me just kind of... Um, oh, 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 right. I got bank problems. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, um... Sarah Doman Brew Flask. That's sweet. Alright, give me one second here to uh, get rid of some bunk placeholders that I no longer need so that we can get enough bank space. Oh, I the bank problems are all of my own making. It's just amazing. Look, I still have all these spices in case I n ever need to get them again. You know what I mean? Like, you remember how long it took me to get all those spices? Never throwing them away. All right. Um, let me see here. Mm, okay. Almost there. Oh, you know what it is. I have all of these house dracon tops. Can I put these house dracon tops in my player owned house? at the costume rack, or do I even need them? Okay, let's put them in my wardrobe then, because I don't know if I need them. So let's see if there's anything else actually in my bank that I can put in the costume rack. Um, plague stuff, can the plague jacket go in there? Oh, okay, Mather, thank you for the tip, my friend. That's cool. Mourner clothing. Okay. Oh, I just accidentally put the stuff away. I'm in the wrong mode. Oh my god. No.
there's a cleanup mode you can use. Oh, I see. Um, so all of these items right here, um, I can actually give to May is what's going on. Like the note to Robert, Bob's collar, or do these mean I can reclaim them from May? Dude, you need these. Reclaim. Okay. So it's safe to get rid of my color wheel, for example. Okay. Okay, all right, so um, pigeon cage, uh, we'll just destroy it. Glau's journal, I guess we can get rid of it. Oh man, we should keep Hazelmere scroll, you talk about sentimental value. Empty box is actually kind of funny. Okay, great. Hmm. White Goblin Mail. Man, there's some good stuff here. Tooth Extractor. How awesome is that? Love it. You have freed Ungadalu from possession. All right, all right, all right. Now, those bananas are legit. I'm not taking it out. Okay. That should be enough to do that. It is. Not bad. Let's see what I'm wearing. Most of this... Oh, no, this is subjugation. I haven't updated my... Um, I gotta update my hot set, my, my uh, preset for better armor. I forgot about that. No, no, no. I've upgraded. I don't need this. Staff of Light? Oh, no, no. I've got better than this. All right. Let's do it. We... Um, want to wear the Virtus. There you go. So I have, um, Virtus gloves, robe, and legs. Okay. And that's pretty good. Now let me get my awesome staff that can't ever run out of runes. Limitless air. That looks pretty good. All right, yeah, that's that's very nice. And then I do want um, my Legends cape. It seems important. Okay, and then um, overwrite. Did it. All right, we're done. All right. Okay, everybody, so you were telling me that there's some kind of pre-questing I need to do for River of Blood. I'm game. Nah, I got skill dummies. I don't have any combat dummies. Um, so you're saying if I do the Czar quests, I could get enough of combat experience for River of Blood?
Okay. Well, let's let's try to do both. So we'll go ahead and go over to. Um... Okay, Nick man, let's go to Canopus. I'm sure all of Mauritania is in a much better shape state now that uh you know Drakan's been defeated north of the lodestone oh okay oh okay I know, I'm teasing, Sir Theodore. She's not much better. And plus, Dracon's been just asleep. Um, Veliof, is that really you? I would say, well met, Dr. Incompetent, but I have run out of pleasantries. <laughs> ACPL, what's up, my friend? Good evening. No, nah, man, I've seen the paintings of Vanescula in, in full-on vire form. I can't unsee it. Mina, good evening. Good to see you. Okay. The Myarchy, my friends are gone. My fight is over. Is there nothing I can do to help? To convince you otherwise? I am afraid not. All I wish to do now is honor the memory of my fallen comrades the blood of the covenant made us family but now i am alone what about me there's still ivan paterdomus isn't far we could visit to get no the boy is best off under the protection of others than with me in my wanderings i have discovered this rundown sundial however huh it's funny i've never really noticed it before what about it What's funny about this sundial is like, you know, I noticed this rundown sundial. This sundial is enormous. And I've noticed it before myself. I was thinking it could be restored and then turned into a memorial to the Myarchy. They're best here, standing ever vigilant. Yeah, Mina, he's broken. Like, he needs to get his mojo back so hard. Well, don't forget about us. The player character is part of the old Myarchy gang. There's three. We're three strong. They are best here, standing ever vigilant. Also, the Vires don't come out this far, so a memorial here is less likely to be vandalized. It's just a little bit north of some werewolves and immediately east of zombies. Would you assist me in building it, old friend? You got it, buddy. Of course I'll help. What's required? Well, I'd like to put your crafting and construction skills to the test. First, I'm no sculptor. I want you to sculpt a statue for each fallen myarchy where we can pay them the proper reverence. Oh, wow. I'm going to make statues of the fallen myarchy members. Wow, this is pretty sentimental. Yeah, Vertita is still trapped. Well, Dracon was no good either. I mean... The Myarchy could have stayed alive but if we didn't challenge Dracon, but then it would have just meant that the people of Meyerditch and Berderot were like blood-tithed and enslaved for the rest of their lives. Um, with no hope, it doesn't seem, you know, super promising.
What do I need to sculpt for each statue? A gnome I met outside Canifus suggested granite. Two five kilogram blocks per statue should suffice. I'll start preparing the plinths for the statues. All right. You return the following day to discover Velioff has prepared the plinths for your statues. Each statue requires a couple of large granite blocks. Oh, wow. You know what? So, obviously, this was created first with this in mind. But, like, when he was like, I want to turn this into a memorial to the Myarchy, I was like... I don't really see the relationship to the Myarchy at all, except for the geographical location. But now, you could see, yeah, each hour will be dedicated to one member of the, the Myarchy that's fallen. That's really good. This is a tremendous monument. Alright, so I need granite. So get the granite off stream and then do the next part during the next stream? Oh, you could only build one per day, but now you can build them all? Um, let me talk to him. Um, about building the statues. Let's build Sani's statue first. She was first to fall at the hands of Vanstrom. Use the plinth at the one o'clock position. Um, okay, about adding items. We should adorn each statue with an item of remembrance in addition to a single blister wood sickle. Bring both items together to add them. All right, I can get blister wood. That's easy. Let's build some more statues first. In the meantime, just ensure you've prepared enough sickles. Right, right, right. Um, so, forgive me for asking, but... How do I get granite? Is it back from, like, the place that I got stone statues in the desert? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Or Menaphos. So you're saying I could throw money at the problem. Well, it doesn't seem like it's that complicated. Um, let me just check really fast. If I go to the Desert Lodestone, all right, and I'm like, you know, down here, how hard would it be to scare up a couple of granite that, that are five kilograms? Here's the quarry. Southwest, all right. Blisterwood's untradeable, but can't I just use Dukan's amulet to just teleport to the Blisterwood tree? All right, granite. AC, um, that's right. Sir Theodore is explaining it. Oh, there's the, look at this. I got two five kilograms right away. Oh, okay. Mather, I didn't even know you could get a rune pouch, but dear God, yes, I, I want pouches for everything. Is there a food pouch, for example? But a, a rune pouch would be amazing. How hard is that to get? Am I assuming that the two kilogram granite is useless and I only want five kilogrammers?
Or can I combine? Is it like drop all granite that's not um, five kilograms for the statues? Or can I use like a two kilogrammer for somebody's head and just staple it on when I'm carving? Ah, oh, Sir Theodore, I am sorry to hear that, my friend. Thank you, Mina. That's what I figured. I'm just going to deliver enough for one and see, like, what we're talking about. Oh, left click is the drop. Sweet. You're right. It is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, um... The Abyssal Runecrafting does sound interesting. It might be something... I don't know if I could set that up, like, for mobile. So I could be chilling and just kind of do some runecrafting. Maybe skill up in the Abyss on mobile. And then, boom, I've got a, you know, pouch after a few weeks of tinkering around. Oh, or that. Okay. Hey, Chef Smitty. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. Oh, man. I am sorry to hear about that. That's... I hate first day struggles like that. My rune crafting is nowhere near that level. Heathrun, that is a good question, my friend. It all depends on the weather. So if it's raining, I will not be um, going to fireworks. But if it is good weather and we decide to go to the fireworks, um, then I will not stream. It's up in the air. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and then um, I'll just teleport back to Kenny. I'm going to deliver some of this, see what happens if I just give him some. And I say, here's a bunch of granite, dude. Yeah, I won't do it all. I just wanted to see, like, what it took. And I like just experiencing the thrill of gathering granite. Oh, I didn't start where he wanted at all. I, uh, look what I did. I made Mecritus, and I made, um, Radigad. Wow. This is sweet. I tell you what, just making these statues after doing Lord of Vampirium, um, last time was awesome. There's Vertita. We just talked about him. Paul Maffi. Yep. Lore master. He did. He fought um, Dracon one-on-one -on -one and got, like, chopped in half. Hey, Biscuit. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. I mean, the, the upturned faces and, you know, 
the posture of the statues are awesome. It's two five kilogram blocks per each one. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, not bad. We already built a few of them. All right. So, um, I'm not going to get more granite. But I am going to try to just make one um, blister wood sickle just so I can see what it is like. So that I can... Um, know how to do it if I want to do it alone easily. Hey, here I'm I'm ready, dude. This is uh this is a tough area. Can you do Guthics? Flex on them would be hilarious. Now I need all the experience I can get. The highest is five. The lowest is three. All right, let's go. I got one. Hey, Kim. Thanks for subscribing. Oh, I got the last one, too. That's not high enough. Okay. He gave me a hint. Bam. Bam. Now that's some experience. Oh wow, I forgot about this. Um, I forgot that like, the higher my crafting or whatever, the better it looks. I mean, man, it's got like gilding and ornamentation on it. Now that is impressive. Oh, that's right. I forgot to get the experience. I'm going to go just get some things right here really fast. So I need... Um, I need this. You think I could... Like, use these blister wood stakes... As uh, sickles? My prayer is only level 70. I'm not the best at it. Okay. So I just chopped the tree. Oh yeah, this is going to take a while. I forgot about this. Oh, I forgot about this. So, what we talked about was we can't do um, this quest the, the River of Blood right now. So what we're going to do is go back to um, Timeline, and um, 
I've got Firemaker's Curse. I've got Elder Kiln. Um, and then the rest of these are kind of like require a lot of Menaphos. Um, Brink of Extinction. No, I got to do Elder Kiln first, though. So if I t do this, I'll be doing the uh, quest with these guys that where we learned about their, you know, theatrical aspirations. No, not that. Hey, Striker. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. Um, I'm going to... I'll keep the blister wood. That's fine. So, Elder Kiln... Um, all I need is to defeat multiple foes. And I need an adamant pickaxe or better armor, weapons, and food. Alright, I got all that. Oh, I need some silver sickles first. Okay, well, that's fine. So, um, I'll bring some more food. And it says, um, ah, what's the easiest way to get to these dudes? I forget. I need to go to the birthing pool. Um,. Yeah, just walk to the volcano? Okay. Um, I didn't know if there was a fairy ring or something like that. I have some fairy rings, but I don't know if I have the right one. Are the ones inside the city fairy rings that you need to, like, put mushrooms on to make grow again? Yeah, here we go. I've got this one. Is BLP good? All right, it's sizzling, people. I like how there's just lava pouring down the wall, and these mushrooms are just like... We grow right next to it. They're the best mushrooms. Okay. So we need to go talk to um, Measure. Measure for Measure. All right. Um. Birthing pool. Alright, I don't know what that means. Give me the map. Give me the map of the area. Birthing pool's over here. Northeast. This is where they come from. There's measure. 
What you throwing at that thing? Jaw, zil, doctor and cop. Help, my egg is dying. Oh, trying to throw fire at it? What happened to it? It looks all cracked. And not so much. The egg is cold. Our mesh have tried to heat it, but they say it's too late to save it. But they're wrong. Although many czar eggs are dying now or being born. I can't remember if I'm saying it right by just saying czar or if it's zahar. Uh, being born different. This is a big strong egg. It will grow into good strong zahar. I just need help. Will you aid us? That's right, that's right, Sir Theodor. You know I'll help you. I accept. I'll help. You would make a good czar, cold human. Um, will you help us, Mejak? Meja, it is too late. But I will help. Even just to show you this. We must work together to make the egg hatch. Use fire magic to heat the egg and water magic to cool it down. When the egg is at the right temperature, it will start to hatch. Aim to keep the heat between the two pointers on the temperature gauge. When the egg's heat is within these two pointers, the hatching percentage will increase. When the egg's heat is outside of these two pointers, the hatching percentage will decrease. Oh, that's right, Sir Theodore. Um, he gives me a pile of runes. All right, thanks, buddy. All right. So, where's the pointers? More heat. I see egg hatch. Oh, okay, I see. It's over on the left. Oh, oh, it's got to cool down. Uh-oh. Hey, Morbin. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. Take care. Uh oh. Hey, Grim. Good evening. Good to see you, my friend. We're almost there. I'm like concentrating on what to hit. Uh oh. It hatches. Oh, okay. Cool, Sir Theodore. <laughs> yeah, Mina, isn't that hilarious? It is like that. We've caught a child. It is like I said, Tsar Meja. 
another one born as Gaal. No, it cannot be. Zar, what is your case? Gah? Zar measure egg is gal like the others. No. Um, what's a gaal? Zar are born with memories of all ancestors that came before. That is how we know our caste, how to do our work, what our laws are. Wow, that's pretty convenient. Gaal are born without memory of what came before. Without memory, Gaal cannot do work. They are clumsy, lazy, and lawless. But can't you train them? Almost all Zar are born this way now. Those that do not die in the egg, we do not know why. Gah, huh? It's just a regular baby, then. I shall take this Gaal away. But... We must. This, you know. Follow me. I said follow. Well, it knew that. I mean... That's even better than the baby. It can walk. It knows commands. I don't know what you people are complaining about. You should try... Human society. Zar should not feel a bond with their egg. No one. Zar is more important than another, but... Through our eggs, we live on. New Zar carried dead parents' memories. Now, my memory will not pass on. I am old. I will not lay another egg. So I know it's not the same thing, okay, as, like, a complete knowledge of the memory. But they do have culture, they do have writing, they do have plays, right? So you can, you know, write down your memory to pass it on. An autobiography, if you will. A memoir. What will happen to Gaal? Mejak will gather Gaal and have them fight in the fight pit. Ga Gaal do not know how to fight, so they die. What is this? So, like, their fate worse than death is to just have the same life cycle as human beings, um, where we have to educate, train and pass on through written and oral tradition. Like, they're like, no, this baby must be killed. It, it doesn't know everything. Yeah, I guess so. I like how in, like, you know, in human civilization and, and history and culture, it's basically just like the Dalai Lama or whatever or the you know the Buddha or whatever the Dalai Lama that's like born and they believe has been reincarnated and has some memory of being the you know the previous Dalai Lama and that's like the only one person on the planet that we like give that ability like you, you have like you know this recall and it's not even very good it's like super shadowy and for them, they're like, if the person, if the, the czar doesn't have it, they're like, throw it in the gladiator pit. I mean, I, you know, it seems a little, uh, a little harsh. Well, I mean, of course, Nick Ban, I'm not saying, I, I'm not theologically debating um, whether or not the Dalai Lama has that. I'm just saying, like, that's how rare we have it as humans, and we never, we don't even blink an eye at the fact that babies are born tabla rasa or whatever. Whereas these guys are like, nope. Why do you do this? 
The Gaul are weak and useless without memory. They serve no purpose in Tsar society. Okay, here we go. Can't you teach them? Like, do you have a classroom? Teach is for Jalt, not Tsar. How can we teach Gaul all our years of knowledge? So he's saying that's for humans, not Tsar. So, it, talk to me about this. Talk to me about this. What's their cosmogony? Like, what's their Genesis story? Their Adam and Eve. At one point, there was only two of them, right? So, how did the two deal with all the gall that they spawned to create more Zar? Darcy, good evening. Okay, I'll find out later. Okay. Okay, cool, Mina. But it's become big problem for Zar. So few Zar are born now, just more and more Gaal. We do not know what the cause of it is. Zar Mej have investigated, but to no benefit or great discovery. I've been thinking of something for some time, um, but it's dangerous and uses old magic. Hey, I old magic is kind of my thing. I've been I've been working with a lot of old magic recently. Other Czar might not agree. They will say Czar Mej just does it for his own memories, not for good of Czar. What is it? It's a way of giving Gaal back their memories. Other Mej will not like it. Many think we should not go back there, but it's the only way. Otherwise, our memories will be lost. We will need a Gaal, my Gaal, to test this on. You will need to stop him entering the fight pit. Bring him to me at the library. There's research I must do before I speak to other Tsar Mej about this. <laughs> That's right, Darcy. We certainly are. I mean, I don't want to speculate too much, but if the next quest is called Brink of Extinction, I can see why the Tsar are going extinct. Like, this reproductive societal model you have um, is incredibly flawed, right? Because, like, there would, there would need to have been a fixed number of them that had all the memories, and then they can never add to their population because they can't have anybody new. It only can be a reincarnation of a previous czar. So it has to be like this set population that, that always gets reborn and never, I mean, it's, that's, that's challenging. I like how the developmental disability is just the normal human condition, Sir Theodore. I mean, you know what I mean, like just uh, having no memory at birth. Go to Main Plaza in the center of Tsar City, west of here, and bring Gaul back. Convince Tsar Mej Ak if you must. I'll help. Thank you. Bring him to me at the library. <laughs> you know, Darcy, their um, infant care is a place called the Fight Pit. They don't have a school. They don't have a nursery. They have a Fight Pit where infants are sent to their doom. It's an amazing society. I'm, <laughs> I'm th thrilled to work with them.
who is no remorse 77 and lol then kill and fire cape zors and fight pit pk -er. oh my god are these like fake player characters who are here to kill the the babies So these are, these are, um, developmental disability baby killing NPCs. Looks like she may have lost something. <laughs> A bloodthirsty veteran. She's a regular at the pit. Oh, this champ. A regular. He looks pretty tough. All right, let's talk. Have you seen any dragon claws lying around? I can't go into the pits without my claws. Yeah, wood. Oh, look, we have the same outfit. They're wearing the, the same stuff. But they have the Staff of Light. I mean, Lol Then Kill is wielding Ceridoman's Staff of Light. Is this... Does this even make sense? Hurry up. Let's just get in the pits. I want to go kill Frosties. These noobs don't stand a chance. I think I have that helmet somewhere in my bank. Ten points if you kill another person. Twenty if you kill a czar. A point for each of the Gaul. They're father, dude. Oh, okay, Nick, man. What are you doing? Just making this a bit more fun. Yeah, it's real fun. Um... Gah? Um, come with me now. Gah? Although you can't understand what the Gaul is trying to say, you get the impression that he's unwilling to leave where the it is. Um, let me try again. Mm hmm? You'll die if you stay here. Nah, he's unwilling. All right. Gather here for the fight pit. This is going to be sweet. Anyone seen my D-Claws? <laughs> Mighty warriors, prove your worth in fight to death. So, are we all agreed on how many points you get per kill? No one cares about your point system, Morion. It's stupid. I'll tell you what. Um, when I was guild raiding in World of Warcraft, we used DKP and... It wasn't stupid. It was taken very seriously. There were charts where you could see your progress for months. And oh boy, I got a lot of loot. Those DKP were invaluable. I'm not Morian. I'm Fight Pit Pker, Master of the Bow, Ruler of the... Be quiet. <laughs> Alex, I tell you what, you had to, though, because, you know, if you were raiding, there there was only one piece of loot that dropped, so how was everybody going to, you know, figure out, you couldn't, you couldn't need before greed on that stuff. Oh, I have to fight. Um, I'll, I've come for that guy, oh. This is not your concern. In my guild, it actually worked. Nobody got, um, didn't get the, the loot that they were promised based on the list. Everybody was honorable. But I suppose it could be in not work in other situations. Yeah, that's the worst, Alex. I was um, just 
enough reminiscing, but I remember when I was getting my tier two robes, um, which the body piece in World of Warcraft uh, was was hard to get, and I was getting it was the last piece I needed, and the guy who was ahead of me didn't have it either, and he had some other robes, and he was like, "Nah, I pass." He just passed. Like, I mean, it was unbelievable. I was like, oh, okay. Nah, that's terrible, Alex. Well, the other thing, too, that happened for me was um, I was, like, late to get into raiding, and so they had all of these, like, um, Molten Core, for example, was just on auto farm, and people were just gearing up alts, and so your main character had precedent over alts. So I got tier one, like the first time I raided, I almost had a full set, and I went way negative into my DKP because nobody was rolling on it. It was just like going to be disenchanted for the loot, for the uh, guild's money bank. We would just disenchant the items we didn't need and and sell the ingredients to make money. And then we would distribute the money to pay for everybody's like repairs and consumables and stuff for the rating. It was a very nice guild. But Czar has a plan. He thinks he can return the Gaal's memories. Czar is not behaving like good Czar. Good Czar think of Czar society first. Czar Meje thinks of nothing but his little Gaal. But he's thinking of the future of Tsar society. We have to protect that Gaal. Tsar Mezje needs him. Tsar Mezje Gaal will die in fight pit. This is beyond your control. I know. He's like, no. But it's also, Sir Theodore, it's baked into their system, right? Because they already have this case system, and their case system does seem to be more about um, skills as opposed to, like, a social runged hierarchy. But it's very clear, like, if the Gaal was born with the memories of um, Meje then it would be venerated and respected, but because it was an execution. Kiva, good morning. Yeah, you're right, Sir Theodore. Maybe they don't like that you could just be a blank slate and go wherever you like and do and you know make what you want of your life. They're like, no, 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 no. You're supposed to be playing that record again. W what's going on? Yeah, they are making this um, like a. <laughs> they're they're having adventurers come in and probably pay them money to uh, rid them of their, you know, unfavorably born children. Unless you think you could protect them in the fight pit, the only way to save the Gaul is to fight in the pit. Are you ready to travel to the pit to protect him? All right. Let's get started. Let's do it. Oh, did I click out of it? You ready to enter? Go. Go. All right, keep my wits about me. Good luck, okay? Seriously, guys, who's taking my claws? Let the fight begin. All right, where's the one that I want to save? Um, no.
Oh, the Tsar are fighting the, the Gaul. Oh my god, this is ugly. Asphyxiate. You're gone. All right. You think you could save this gal? We must talk, Tsar Mejak. I know how to give memories to the gal. All you talk of now is Gaal. You have forgotten what it is to be a Tsar. It is my duty to remind you. <laughs> Heathrun, it is the Protoss. Does this guy right here, he's a, or it's a Mej, right? So Mej are like the scholars or whatever. Doesn't Mej Ak know that they have a serious population problem? I know, Mina. It was pretty rough. You have forgotten what it is. Enter, champion. I guess not his problem. He's like, look, I know we're going extinct, but we need to just keep having these gratuitous fight pits to kill the helpless Gaal. It's part of how we do things. No. Can, I can't do anything right now. I want to fight. It's not letting me click. Now. Let's finish the fight. Empty the pit. My prayer is empty. I, I forgot to... Uh, do anything about that. I'm going to choke this rock person. What's it like to not breathe, buddy? Don't make me do it. Now, champion, is dead, Meja. Just like you, his memories are lost. He did not lay an egg. Oh, my God. Now I feel terrible. So that guy's gone. I just, I, I made champion Zar Ket Yatal extinct. You and your ja y Jalgit have murdered a good czar. His memories die with him. He died in the pit. Death in the pits is not murder, and if you listen to us, this would not have happened. I have a plan. Enough of this madness. Your Gaal is dead. These plans, these schemes, they are not work of good czar. Our champion, dead because of your plans. There's a way to bring the champion back, Dr. Incompetent. What do you know about Takul? Um, it's the remains of your dead that you use as currency. When Zar die, we turn into Takul, small rocks with our memories trapped inside. Our memories make it valuable, so Zar trade it with each other as currency. 
It has never been possible to get memories from Takul and Zar who have not laid eggs before they turn to Takul, their memories are lost forever. So if the Takul has memories inside, but the memories have never been accessible, then why are they valuable? Just because they think that there's memories in there? So they have, like, sentimental value that they use to trade? What would you say if I told you there was a way of recovering these memories? It, it is not possible. It is. Our kiln has that power. Zar Mejak. The power is forged Takul, fusing them with the body of another. The gall are empty bodies that we can use. Yeah, Darcy, I mean, that's right, I suppose. It makes sense. Yeah, I vaguely remember you telling me, Sir Theodore. Hold on, your kiln? The kiln is where Zar were first made. Its lava is able to give life and melt down even the hardest of metals. Oh, they really were forged in the fires of Mount Doom. So they were made by someone. And that's why there was a set amount. So they have some deity that made them. Was it by any chance a... Melkor? Hey, Fading, good evening. And we are not permitted to visit it. Kiln is sacred to Zar. It's out of bounds. But it has the power to join Takul with Gaal, to bring back lost memories. The Jal, it would not have to break our rules, it could go. Um, yeah, I can go. I don't break the rules. No, no, Sir Theodore. Wielder of the Flame of, um, what is it, Uldor? Yeah, I hope I don't have to fight a Balrog. This is too drastic. We must think on this. Think of all the Tsar born without eggs, all the Ket champions, the Mez elders whose memories we have in Taku. We can bring them back. What else can we do? More and more Ga'al keep being born. If we cannot pass on our memories, then it is the end of the Tsar. You are right. We must take action, but only if the Jot will help. Tsar will not set foot in there. Let's see. Um, this only helps the Tsar, not the Gaul. Um, of course I'll help. The kiln sounds powerful. I'm there. That's sweet. Of course. You good ally. You must journey to the kiln. You will need to travel through many tunnels east of the main plaza. Just south of the birthing pool, there's a passage heading to the kiln entrance. Guards will let you pass. So I shall pass. This Gaal that survived the fight pit, it can go with you. It will meet you at the entrance. Shouldn't you ask if it wants to go? It's only Gaal. No. Gaal must have a say. If this make Gaal ox real czar, Gaal zox go. All right, here's the Tokul. Take it with you. We shall speak to the other Tsar Mej about our plan, whilst you are away. Um, 
Hey, Nick, what's up, my friend? Good evening. Good to see you. What should we do when we arrive at the kiln? Kiln is very old. The lava inside is powerful and ancient. That we know. Lava will be able to join Ga'al and memories inside Takul is one. Is there anything I should know about it? It's where Z uh, Zar came from in the beginning. We protect it, but do not go inside. It is sacred ground. Zar have not even walked down the tunnels leading to Kiln for very long time. They may have become dangerous. I know. Like, is it going to be where he gets to share? Like, he has his own existence, but has the memories of the champion? Or is he just going to get pushed out or erased? Or is it going to be like being John Malkovich, where um, Gaal Zox can still see from, you know, inside the consciousness of the, the champion, but can take no action to influence what the being does and is just like a, a hapless participant in the life of the champion. It, it sounds rough. Well, we'll find out. I better be on my way. All right. I like the idea, you know, in just in spirit of there being a group of people or entities, species, whatever it is, did actually still like has things and places that are sacred such that they'd never been there like in America if there was like a sacred place like they're like we don't go there it's sacred ground like you'd go there and it'd just be covered in like you know crushed beer cans cigarette butts graffiti reek of urine you know like people would have been there in droves There'd be no respect. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> nice, Nick. All right, we got to go east of the main plaza, down a long tunnel. All right. Well, if this is the main plaza, I'll go this way. Oh, yeah, his health bar is still over there. I got to watch out for that. Is that the tunnel? Oh no, this is the little guy that died. Oh yeah, Darcy, 100%, right? Hey guys, I need through. Statue. Of Zil Rijet. This agile hunter is said to have never lost track of its prey. That's pretty sweet. I'm going into the kiln, guys. You can't stop me. Zar Meja say you may pass through here. This go to ancient kiln. Be careful. Loud noises through there. Sound like wild Ketzek. Take pickaxe. No one been through for a long time. Oh, cool, Sir Theodore. Yeah, please. Um, Zox and Doc, here for you. We're going. Follow me. All right. I hope Rock Guy can jump a chasm. This is going to be tough. Falling into the lava now would be pretty rough. Um, 
Why aren't you following? Ground stop here. But it continues over here. Zock's not there. You need to jump across. Jump? What jump? I weigh 3,000 pounds. It's just what I did. I don't think I can jump. All you need to do is run, bend your legs, and spring up. Go on. Try to jump the chasm. I like this moment right here where it's like, we don't know if Little Rock Guy can actually jump. And we don't know about his mass and his musculature and if this is even possible. And we're asking him to risk it all without any trial attempt over certain doom. Yeah, exactly, Nick Man. No risk at all. The no ground? Yeah, go for it. Oh my god, that was close. Great work. I jump, I jump. You do. You did. You are. Um, lava monster, okay. Wow, what are these little things stuck in the rock over here? Is it like barnacle? Or is that gem? I can't even, you know, mineral? I can't tell what that is. I can't, I can't click it or interact with it, so I'll just leave it alone. Wow, it's a big pig. It's like a armadillo, rhino, chow. It's unaffected by my spells. Okay, so I got to use something else. I didn't bring another weapon. Can I just run through? <laughs> I hope so. Oh, I got to kill them all? Okay. Eh, I got a problem. Oh, pickaxe. Okay. Can I use my um, pickaxe from my tool belt somehow? Fists? All right, I'll try it. It says you fail to break his stone-like armor. I can remove the one on my tool belt? Okay. I could click it. It says it's very powerful. Um, how do I take it off? Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. Oh, okay. There you go. All right. I got a new pickaxe. I'm ready for you. I broke him. Okay. That's a plus four Necronium pickaxe. They don't stand a chance. Um, who knows how long it's been lying here. Now, can I... If this is a human skeleton? How could he have gotten past... Okay. I made it past the guards. What that there? Looks like a skeleton. Maybe we should take a closer look. Oh, okay. Um... The skeleton's ancient. Its bones look like they would crumble upon touch. 
Clenched in its fist is an old book. Ooh. Reach in and take the book. Reach in? To the fists? This appears to be an old journal. Despite its obvious age, it's in very good condition. An old magic must be protecting it from the heat within the tunnels. Yeah, I remember that because they tried to have a library and it kept catching on fire. This is magic. Old magic. Let's see what we got. Journal of... Oh my gosh, didn't we just hear this name? Perjour. Tucked within its pages is a note. We just heard that. Read the journal. Rentra the Twelfth. What a joy it is to write in a journal because I want to, not because I have been commanded to. Exciting news. The golem-like czar speak of an ancient kiln that heats their city. Assuming this isn't just folklore, this could be the forgotten Elder Kiln. I have not been as excited about a discovery for a very long time. While my interest is largely academic, this potential power excites me. That's what it was, Darcy. It was from when we were reading those books in Dracon's library that I saw this name. Zamorak could forge an army out of bare rock if this is truly the Elder Kiln. Um, Mo the Eighth. It's unfortunate that I must get blood on my hands again, although shards of rock might be more appropriate. On principle, I'm a scholar and not a violent man. But if a fool stands in my way, I will cut that fool down. I am long past the point where I feel remorse for what I've done. I actually just killed someone called No Remorse. Um, on the ninth, the caves are death traps, littered with ferocious creatures composed of fire and rock. It's no wonder the Tsar avoid this place. My progress is blocked by a large, ornate gate. There are primitive coded symbols engraved onto large scales either side of it. Um, onto large scales on either side of it? If this is all the Tsar can do to hinder my progress, Zamorak shall have his army by dawn. On the 11th, no joy. The code is a little more sophisticated than I first anticipated. However, it shall not be long until I've cracked it. See, that's what you get for calling them primitive. 14th, no matter what I do, the door won't budge. I'm sure the answer is in these symbols, but for the life of me, well, you're a skeleton now. It is for the life of you. I can't work it out. I shall make a tracing and decipher it on the surface. This is inconvenient. The 31st of Racktuber. Well, I'll be damned. The symbols are simply numbers. What a fool I've been. Who would have thought that the Tsar had their own counting system? I mean, I imagine that, right? The brute guarding the entrance attacked, um... No, I don't think so, Nick Man. I think if you say on either side, that could either mean on it or situated positionally, as the preposition suggests, on either side, to the left and the right, not physically on the object. I don't think that's correct. My legs are broken in several places, and I fear that my body is ruined. Somehow, I have managed to drag myself back across chasms to relative safety. Relative as long as these rock creatures cannot smell my blood. Uh-oh. So there's a brute guarding the entrance. Broke his legs. Feb uh, Fentuary the Fourth. I regret few things, but our betrayal is one of them. It was unnecessary, and she was kind to me. On the 5th, I grow weak and am now unable to move. Um, I shall die here in these caves alone, much like Char. Who's Char? The irony is not 
or he is Char, or Char got killed in by charring to death in lava. At, at first I was like, Cher, the famous musical artist? Yeah, you're right, Dick. I think you're right, Dick, man. It can mean either way. Um, the irony has not been lost on me. Let's, there's a note here. Um, oh, this is the transcription of the symbols into numbers. So let's see here. They use base 12. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, their number repeats at, you know, 12 plus 1, I, I guess. I, maybe not. But um, zo means add and z means subtract. Okay. There, what's that? It's Takul. Yes, and some flying discs. Zar Zil must have died here. I thought Zar weren't allowed down these tunnels. You better take these discs. What do they do? Can he throw them? You give Zox all but one of the discs. It'd be safer if we both have a weapon. Zox used this? Yeah, you know how? Oh, wow, it's huge. No. Let me show you. Just watch me. So, okay. There's a lot going on right now. Um, but I want to say another thing about that, that cracks me up about the Gaal is like, okay, I get it. They're not born with the, you know, memory of the previous czar that spawned them or whatever in the birthing pool. But they're born with like complete knowledge of language. Which is really impressive. Like, this dude can just straight up talk, walk, move around. You know, like, very, very capable, actually. But now we're actually going to um, teach this guy how to do something. We actually already did. We taught him how to jump, right? So this is all a demonstration of what you could do by actually just choosing the path of education instead of the path of murder. Yeah. Exactly, Sir Theodore. All right. So he now knows how to do that. And, oh man, we're rich with Takul. I got loaded. All right, we got a symbol. We got some lava. We oh god, we got scorpion. Um, okay. Well, this doesn't look good. Can I hit you? Yeah, okay. He's throwing. You know what? It's... You're absolutely right. Actually, speaking of that, Nick, man, I need to do the fight caves again now that I'm slightly more powerful. It would have to be a situation where I, I did it all on one night so I could try to do the entire run in one time, you know, without forgetting. He really is. And on top of the fact that Zox is like learning to talk, he already learned to jump and he learned to fight. 
he's very brave. He's like willing to go down here to try to help out his species, even though they treat him like dirt. Like, there's a lot to commend. Lava monster. I have successfully cleared the cave. If you leave and return, this cave will remain cleared. Well, I mean, it could be either way, right? But he definitely hesitated, like, at the, uh, at the chasm. You know, like, maybe he didn't go just because there was no ground, but it wasn't like he just drove off the cliff, you know, when trying to follow us. He was like, wait a minute, like, I can't go there. So there was something that stopped him from just driving to his doom. What on earth used to hang from here? I don't know. Oh, do I just use this? Is this the kiln right here? I thought they said there was like some massive guardian. Okay. I didn't think so. Um, okay. Oh, here we go. It just doesn't label. I'm, like, looking on the minimap for, you know, the red bar. Like, that means I can leave there. There we go. Why doesn't it have the indicator of a, of, of a transition? I've been here before. Hmm. In this particular room, huh? I will whip you. Was I here for the fight caves, or was I here for a previous quest? Alright, here we go. We made it. An ancient gate. These scales appear old and sacred. Like where they made film grain so it appeared like really old. Um, ancient scales, okay.
All right. So let me think about this. I got the piece of paper. Oh, this is telling me information. Okay, I got to just transcribe this. Let me bring up my um, notes. And then... Um, oh, dope. It doesn't work. Okay. All right, so we got to do this. Um, get rid of that. That's garbage. And then show me the uh, note. Okay, um, now I can't keep that open. I'm going to take, I have to take a picture of this on my phone. Give me one second here to kind of try to get these numbers rolling. Okay. All right, let me bring this up so I can see it. Okay. So let's see. Let's do this right here. So this one says um, three minus. No, that's not three. It's seven minus three. Four plus three is seven plus seven is fourteen. Okay. Three plus nine, twelve, minus four, eight, minus eight, four. I'm not sure I'm doing this right. Okay, here, oh, I took damage. All right, let me see. Look at this one more time here. This one says seven. Oh, it. Okay. Seven plus. Eight is 15 minus. Four is 11. Minus four is seven. The loud groan, the ancient doors swing open. All right, we're in. They're like, this will keep out anyone who doesn't know basic arithmetic. Hey, H-Man, what's up, my friend? Good evening. I'll tell you what. You can try this game for free and see if you like it. I enjoy old school point and click adventures, RPGs, um, and good stories, so I enjoy the game myself. But there's a lot to do in it that I don't do, actually, because I just kind of focus on the quests. But trying it for free seems pretty good. Jumped it. Look at that. He jumped it. No problemo. He's like, I got it. And he's got his weapon and everything. Chasm time. Uh, 
honestly, like, I was expecting when I saw the chasm the first time, I was like, are they going to um, RNG me with these lava cliffs? And, like, if I just don't, you know, make the athletics check, do I just fall into the lava and it's just game over? He is. I know, that would be so funny. All skills set to to level one. They do, Darcy. That's what I'm seeming to. I hope it's not bad, but... So Theodore already said I'm going to cry, so I'm kind of like prepared for anything tragic. You know what the real tragedy is? Is the fact that I'm going to the kiln to find a way to use the Takul to get memories back. But, like, if you were one of the Czar whose Takul I used on the scales, you're dead forever. I'm so sorry, I need a little bit of money on the scales back there. Couldn't you have just used anything to weigh the right amount? No. It had to be your memories. You're stuck. Do the other Czar have... Maybe it's just because they haven't been down in this tunnel for a while. And there's all these chasms that have appeared. But do the other Czar know how to jump? Because, like, this would really weed out a bunch of people who are trying to get to the kiln. I think, really, that it's not off-limits. They just, like, made up the whole sacred off-limits thing. Because they're like, we don't want anyone to know we can't jump and get to the Elder Kiln. So we're just going to we're just going to say it's sacred. Nobody goes there. Oh, they're coming at me now. That guy's big. He's like a shark rock man. Take that. Man, my magic is about to level up someday. Look at this guy hiding back here. Please don't fight me. I, uh, I see the error of my ways. Alright, here's something that weeds me out successfully. I've said it once and I've said it again. Anytime you're asked to go into a cave that looks like a skull or a creature's mouth with glowing eyes, I'm out. Like, that is not welcoming. That, in fact, says the opposite. This is Kiln? I think so. We'd better step carefully. Who knows what could be in there? Zox, ready. If you're ready. I'm ready. You could turn back. You don't need to do this. No. Zox must. Even if Zox not want this, we must for all other Gaal. You know, I did, Nick Man. That's true. I hope it's not much worse. Didn't I go into the stomach of some, um, something in the desert quest? Or was that the Queen Black Dragon that we went into under the sands? Maybe I'm just mixing up my memories. That's a brave decision. It's true, Sir Theodore. It's all over the place. 
This is, um, Tokhar Hawk. It's been a very long time since outsiders have entered our kiln. Let us test your skills. Let our sport be glorious. Wait, we don't have to fight to the death. But, Shark Lizard Man, no. Are you sure you want to test the old skills? What's this guy doing? I was uh, over here having a snack. I didn't even see that there was a fight. Wow, look at that thing over there. It's really raging. Um, oh, I can talk to him? Oh, I should have talked to him. Look at that. There was all these dialogue options. Let me see if I could talk to him after I kill this guy. What were you doing in the city before we met? Zox hid lots. Sometimes Zox talked to other Zars. Some gave Zox food. Zox watched Fight Pit lot too. Oh boy. One day, Ox said Zox in Fight Pit for honorable death. So what do you think about the Czar? Czar strong. Czar good. Even after they threw you in the pit? The Czar should not do that to Gaal. Zox is not real Czar, but Zox got here with Dr. Incompetent. Zox not useless. That's right. Are you worried about what will happen in the kiln? Zox should not die in fight pit. Now Zox helping Czar and other Gaal. If Zox die in Kiln, he die with honor. All right, buddy. Notice who these guys are? I mean, that's Chet, so that's Warrior, right? And that's Mej, so they're like, they're purple instead of orange versions of the uh, case that we have. There's another mesh over there. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to uh, look around here in a moment. Oh, my magic went up. 85. Oh, yes. I can teleport to the fishing guild. I've done it. No one could stop me from fishing year round. Oh boy, yeah, you're right about that, Darcy. That middle head looks like something else. I like how, in terms of the case system, they're like the, um, you know, the kit and the her and the, uh, Mege, they're the cream of the crop. They're just absolutely the best. The Gaul are dumb. And then, like, you get into the situation where they're like, this is going to be glorious sport. It's like we're in a fight pit right now, um, and they're, like, sending their own to the doom. So maybe these are, like, the garbage versions of their, you know, ultra elite stock, or these guys are like doofuses like this guy over here is like don't you know there's a battle going on i mean i'm glad that you're not involved but maybe they should have told you before you appeared here they've been out of practice though nobody's been to the kiln for a long time they forgot yes exactly darcy 
it took a while to be able to go to the guild whenever I needed, but I'm I'm getting there. Oh, I'm talking. Okay, I don't. No, no, get out of chat. There you go. I'm eating some food. This guy's like, come speak with us. All right, so let's, before we speak with us, so this guy appears to have four arms. He's like got regular arms in the, on the interior. He's like, these are my normal arms. And then I did a lot of, you know, lozenges and and creams. And now I have another kind of spiky, larger set of arms that grew out on top. All right, let's take a look at this forge. Let me see this thing. All right. So, yeah, you don't want to go in that one because you'll get covered in lava. But, yeah. Are these the heads of the different castes? Spewing lava? See, that's what I was thinking, Mather. I was like, well, how did they get base 12 if they only have six fingers, but this dude has the four arms? All right, let's go talk. Oh, this guy is voice acted. Um, let's see what you're forged from. Why'd they attack me? Not many visit our kiln. They like to test our skills against those who do. Come. Let us drink a while. A while? Great. It has been a long time since we have spoken, so forgive us if we are slow. Okay. No, you're doing great. Who are you? We are the Tokhar. The Tokhar. We were forced to build the mountains of Gilehor, although they had a different name then. We were forged in the skin by our masters. Wow, they built the mountains of the world. I'm betting the further instructions never came. Or at least some of us did. Some of us stayed behind in the mountain. The Tsar? Ah, yes. They call themselves the Tsar now. Okay, Tsar. All right. They chose to live within the mountain we have built. They tunneled through it to build their city. Ooh, they don't like it. They're like, you undermined our mountain. Um, how can you speak my language? On occasion, creatures like you have wandered into our home. I found a dead one out there. Below your feet flows the lava of creation. Those who fall into it surrender their shape. Memories and language, they become one with the talk Wow. So if I would have slipped at one of those chasms, I would have been assimilated by the Tonkar. They would have had memories of saving kittens, killing vampires. It's amazing. It's a good way to get smarter. Mm-hmm. 
How long you been here? What have you been doing? We do not keep time, human. We were here at the beginning, and we are still here. <laughs> they really would, Alex. Like, if they assimilated a few humans, they're like, they were probably like, oh, God. You want to talk about polluting our resolve? Can we not assimilate any more humans? They probably tried to build some kind of, like, netting system over the forge to prevent any more humans from falling inside after they assimilated the first one. They were like, oh, oh, God, these humans are crazy. They're totally messed up. I, I can't unhear the memories of these humans. This is a disaster. <laughs> you would need a human filter, right? We are only practicing our skills against one another, holding our strength in anticipation of our master. So is Bandos your master? If you're all into the fighty fight? Um, who are your masters? Our masters were the designers of this world. They were architects of the seas of the valleys, the icy lands of the moor, the desert plains, and the mountains. Now, I thought you made the mountains, but uh, designed, they designed it, they didn't make it. Right. They built the zoo to dig up the earth and rock. The maid to blast it into a size that the cat could carry it under her. The craft the set of tentative faces and slopes. Wow, so this is what the case were originally for. Um, I'm going to tell you, they've, they've kind of moved in a different direction. Do you remember your masters? Um, all right, I think we talked about all of this. Can we speak of something else? Um, what is this place? This is the great kiln from which we were forged. The kiln was built by our masters to form the mountains. We have completed that task. Now we wait for the return of our masters. Oh, okay, so all of the, the guys I killed, that's cool because they just get reforged. Wow. Alright, I'm ready to retire and become one with the lava. Where do I go to do that? Through that little gateway over there? Why'd you attack us? Combat is our pleasure. We wanted to test your abilities in our sport. We have proven quite capable. It does, you know, in a lot of ways these two quests make me feel really powerful doing this on the back of Lord of Vampirium. I mean, think about what I just did. I don't know, I didn't fight this guy in particular, but the, the rest of the beings that were in this little pit here that I fought, they've been training and practicing combat since the beginning of time. And I just defeated them. I feel great. Like, I'm very strong. It has been such a long time since creatures have wandered into our home. We were hungry for a challenge. How, 
How are you related to the Tsar? I know, Alex. I mean, but how else could you feel? Like, if, let's just say you were going to be in a boxing match, okay? Let's just call it a boxing match. And you didn't know who your opponent was going to be, but you were given time to train. Now, one fighter was given a few years to prepare. And the other fighter was given billions of years to prepare. If the fighter who, you know, had only been playing every week for a few years, defeated the, the creature that had been practicing for however old Gilinor is, that's impressive. I can't wait to go back to the Tsar and tell him the bad news. Like, how do you explain this? So, um, I met this guy. His name's Takhar Hawk. Uh, he's, he's down in the kiln. Um, that's gotta be it, right, Mina? They, and they're rusty. Well, no, they're not rusty. They, they weren't taking me seriously. Or they were holding back just to have some fun. But it's also kind of like, um, you know, in, in the Dark Knight Rises Batman movie when... Batman gets trapped down there in the in the prison and like you can't make the jump if you have the rope of safety attached like the Takhar are in this place where they know that if they're defeated they just get reborn so it's holding them back from their true strength because they don't have like the fear of annihilation you know propelling them onward but I have to go back to the Tsar and explain yeah, this guy was, he kind of doesn't like what you've done with the mountain. These are, okay, now don't shoot the messenger. His words, not mine. Epitome of weakness and corruption was the kind of gist of it. I don't know what you guys want to do with that. I don't understand. Exactly, Sir Theodore. Yeah, um, so this guy was, like, kind of right in touch with the masters who designed the architects of the world. He built the mountains, and he's been around forever. Um, he's, you know, I'm not here to judge. I think it's more of a, you know, just a agree-to-disagree sentiment that he expressed about your position within the mountain. That's... You know, um, I'll let him tell you. It is unnatural to live outside of our kill. When we are destroyed, we are reforged by the kill. Our memories stay as one. Oh, so the Tsar have lost this ability to be part of the collective and have instead become individualistic right so like the the Takar are hive mind with fleeting individual existences but the czar they didn't want to sacrifice their their individual essence and so they wanted to remain separate I see so it was a uh, existential debate that the Takhar um, feel is weak to you know be afraid of losing the the individual for the collective the Tsar has become so weak they pass our men 
It's getting real wasteful. Tuckle. They really have. I didn't... I want to tell you. I've walked among them. I'm not judging. Again, I'm just an observer. They never said anything about building mountains. So, uh, and they also said they don't go to the kiln because it's sacred. But now we know why they don't go to the kiln. Exactly, Darcy, and I think that's like, you know, going with what Sir Theodore was saying. You know, the 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 Takhar are enslaved perpetually to a purpose that was given to them externally. They have no individual will or desire, um, or at least they don't act on it. Whereas the Czar want to be more in control of their own destiny. Um, than beholden to some kind of purpose for which they were crafted for. So that's the question, Mina. I mean, did they forget that that was their purpose, or did they just not want to become servants to that purpose and sought, like, autonomy from... The original plan. I need your help. Oh, he doesn't talk this line, so you came here with a purpose. The Tsar wished to infuse my friend, a Gaal, with memories stored in their dead champion's tuckle. Many of the Tsar's new eggs are being born as Gaal, and they want to fill them with memories from Tuckle. If this works, then the Tsar hoped to bring new Gaal here and repeat the process. If the Tsar had remained in our kiln, they would not have to resort to such foolish endeavors to preserve their memories. Do you think this little Gaal can survive such a process? He might melt under the heat and become one with us. I think I can. What about you, human? Do you think the little Gaal should sacrifice itself to hold the Tsar's memories? Ooh, you're gonna ask me? Um... So, I think he should for the Tsar. I think he should so the Gaul can live good lives. I don't think he should. He doesn't need their memories. I know, this is really tough. Option two looks pretty good. Um, for, you know, the, the Gaul I'd like to represent for them. But, I mean, I think he's doing fine. I don't think he needs them. So you are the reluctant guardian of this Gaul. The Tsar are a corrupt race and have no doubt deceived this Gaul to make it undergo such a process. We shall allow this transformation to be carried out. Gaul, stand under the mouth at the entrance to the kiln and embrace the heat. Yeah, if anybody tells me to embrace the heat when referring to a cascading waterfall of lava. Um, I mean, it's a good way to go to embrace the heat. Here it goes. Oh my god, he's screaming. Dr. Incompetent! What have you done to him? Nothing you haven't asked for. 
No, no, I didn't ask for this. Actually, I said I chose option three. Um, the creature was just too weak to endure it. What's wrong, Zox? What's happened? Okay. Um, I don't think what's wrong is the right question to ask when somebody is in a shower of lava and is on fire. Like, we can see what's wrong. It, it's the pressure. The pressure. I will explain when we're away from here. Oh, he made it. What's wrong? We must keep moving. Must speak with the elders. I hope, yeah, Mina, I really hope so. I hope he means not the heat or the geological pressure, but instead, like, the pressure of this responsibility that he's been charged with. But, please, just keep moving. But you're on fire. Like, I see... There's fire on you. I've got some cold magic. Um, what do you think about the Tsar? The Tsar have treated the Gaul poorly. They're, they're suspicious of others, slow to change, unaccepting of the weak. But we do not act cruelly to die in the fight pit is an honor. Um, okay. Let's head on. Agreed. But didn't he cry out? That's why I was thinking he was hurt. And he said he was too weak to endure it. So I was assuming that there was some kind of like, you know, potential cost to it. Leave this place. Take the Gaul to the Tsar. We'll ensure you have some company on your way back. Once the Gaul is with the Tsar, then return to us for a real challenge. Um, I'll go then. Alright, so... We need to return through the tunnels to the main plaza and speak with, um... Mezje and Mezak. We need to explain about how Takhar Hawk has threatened to give us some sport for the journey back. Oh, I interpreted this wrong. I thought he was like, we'll give you an escort so that um, you're safe on the way back. But it's the opposite. He's like, I see you cleared out the tunnels. We're going to fill it with trash mobs for you to fight. I get that. Okay. Makes sense. So, this music is intense. The forge is intense. I've got to take a picture of this to get this tattoo. Um... I'm thinking about just a cross on my back, across my shoulder blades and shoulder. Um, just, you know, right in the upper center of my back, getting this tattoo of the forge. I really feel it will communicate strength to anyone who sees it. Now, we've got a lot of work to do in this quest. Um, what's this thing in the middle? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a little fragment. But we're going to have to get to it next week because it is indeed my bedtime, everyone. And I want to say thank you so much, everyone, for coming out to the stream tonight and playing this quest. I'm enjoying this series actually a lot. There's a lot of good lore, and anytime there's good voice acting, I'm, I'm all on board with it. So I can't wait to see what happens with, you know, the Tsar as we continue I know it's going to be potentially sad, but, you know, I want to see it anyway. Well, um, absolutely, Nickman. I, I didn't know how much was left, but I agree with you. But also, um, we're going to be going right into the next quest next time, so might as well. Ooh, fully voice acted on the next one? That's awesome. Hey, Siloom, good evening, my friend. Of course. Now, I will let everybody know if I'm going to stream tomorrow night because of uh, the July 4th festivities. We'll s it'll be a game time decision. Darcy, Siloom, Sir Theodore, Nick Man, Alex, 
Mina, Kim, Michael, Morbentfell, Mather, Crawler Nick, H Man, Everybody out there, fading, Heath Run, take care, everybody. Have a good one. You too, Sir Theodore. <laughs> I know. Gal Jed just couldn't go away. He's like, look, I got killed unjustly. Remember my name. Tell my story. <laughs>